Today we're going to show how to use Twixter Pro and Refill in Trap Codes Particular to turn a real world person or any object into what looks like the person's made out of particles. We will be using the motion calculated from the object to throw the particles off the person, which provides more interaction between the person and the particles. This is because the particles aren't just generated from the person, but are thrown from the person in the direction of the motion. You will need Twixter Pro, Refill by Revision Effects, and Particular by Trap Code for Red Giant for this tutorial. Let's start by looking at our source footage. The first thing we'll do is roto the footage. So this next step shows that we used key light. You can roto any way you want. The important thing to know is because we'll be sampling color and motion vectors using particular, unlike regular roto, we need to make sure that alpha is either full on or full off. It doesn't matter that the edges look a bit stair-stepped because we'll be replacing this image with particles later. Now we can see that we've added trap code particular to a blue solid, so the particles are being generated from layer, no wind or gravity. Note that we set the emitter type to layer and use the rotoed footage to set the color of the particles at birth time from the layer. And particle uses the alpha of the rotoed layer as places to generate particles from at each frame. In this case, we set the emitter to 100,000 particles per second and set their life to one second. Here you can see that the particles have a little life by wind traveling from right to left, a little air resistance, and some gravity. It still isn't looking like the person is made of particles and tossing them though. We'll get there soon though. Now we're going to use motion vectors from Motion Vector Create, which is included with Twixter Pro for After Effects. This will give much more believability that the person is made up of particles and is throwing them from their motion. Once we apply the effect, we set the track frame to to next. This will calculate the motion between the current frame and the next, which is what we want. The setting is in the group of controls labeled track and output control. Also, in order to work properly, Motion Vectors Create needs to work in at least a 16-bit After Effects project, so let's make sure to set the project to work in 16 bits in the project settings. Note that Motion Vector Create calculates the motion outside the rotoed area. Also note that the motion vectors will look mostly yellow. This is correct and rest assured that the motion vectors are encoded in the yellow image. You can read more about our motion vector format if you're interested here. For use in particular, we're going to want to set the max display setting to 500, which assumes that there is no motion in the footage that moves more than 500 pixels in either X or Y between any two frames. If you have footage that you think there is more than 500 pixels between two frames for any pixel, then set the AE project to work in floating point and you should set max displace to 1. We also set track frame to next because we don't want to calculate motion to the previous frame. We want to calculate motion to the next frame because we want to throw particles in the direction that we're moving. We can also turn GPU to on if you have GPU that's supported and leave the rest of the settings on their defaults. When we add it, you'll see that we get a yellow image. The motion is encoded in this image and it's yellow because the X motion is in the red channel and the Y motion is in the green channel, which is why it looks yellow. It will use the blue channel to control the Z motion. So I can add a new solid that will make 50% blue. We do this because the motion vector create plugin writes the pixel values of zero for the blue channel which will be read by particular and hurl particles inappropriately into the Z direction later. So we need to set the blue channel to half full values. 0 0.5 in floating point projects or 16384 in 16-bit 16 projects like this one. So we make this blue layer and set the transfer mode in AE to add. 
In this next step, for use in particular, we want to generate particles only where the person is. So we'll need to apply the mat from the rotoed footage as a track mat for the motion vectors. Okay, now we set the emitter type of particle to layer, and the direction setting must be directional. Then go to the layer emitter and set the layer to use the motion vectors that has the blue added and use the rotoed mat. Set the layer sampling to particle birth time. This is also a must. And set RGB using RGB minus XYZ velocity. When you do this, then the colors are now generated using particle settings for when there is no layer to set RGB colors. In our case, our setup is to produce white particles. This is because particles can use another layer either for color or for velocity, but not both. There is no setting that you can use a color image for color and a motion vector image for velocity. So we'll address that in a minute. Let's continue to talk about motion vectors now. So now you've set the motion vectors and the results still not looking like what we want. Note also that if particulars have a two second life or more, that particular has to ask motion vector create to generate all those motion vectors for two seconds of images, which can take a while. But once particular starts generating frame after frame, things will speed up. It's highly suggested not to use AE's multiple frame at once when using motion vector create and particular so that multiple processes of AE are not repeating the motion vector calculations. The reason that the motion vectors don't seem to be working in, in the previous comp is that they need to be scaled properly for use in particular. This is done with particular's velocity setting. Particular assumes that the motion vectors are in form of pixels per second, and motion vector create creates them from their pixels per frame. Also, motion vector create divides the motion vector amounts by the max display setting used in the plugin. So to use the real velocity, there's an easy formula. Start by setting particular's velocity to the value you used in motion vector create, either 500 for 16-bit projects or 1.0 for floating point projects. And you multiply that times the number of frames per second of your footage. For example, in the case of the 16-bit project, use 500 times 23.976, or about 12,000. If you want particles to come off twice as fast as the underlying object, then you'd use the value 24,000 for this project. Again, the formula max displays times frames per second. Note that the motion is now closer to something we want. We set a bit of air and gravity to the particles in this case too. Now what about color? The pixels are white because we're using the default particle color settings of particular. Well, we could use the original image to color the white particles. Since particular doesn't allow us to set the color from image and set the velocity from an image, you can see in comp 10 that if we color the particles by the image itself, where there's no mat, the particles become black. And we can't use the original footage before the roto because it has a green background. All the pixels that would be outside the mat would become green. So we can approximate the colors outside the person by extending the color outside the rotoed person. We can use another revision effects plugin, Refill Area Fill. By default, it shows you where you tell it to fill by showing red in those areas. As such, change the process mode from Show Holes Over Source to Filled. Next, change the fill method from Nearest Valid to Blended Neighborhood. This gives a nice wash of color extending from the matte edges to the areas of the image where there's no matte. You'll see it flickers a bit, but will work well enough for our particles. Now. Let's use that image from the previous step to color our particles. We do this by setting the track mat of the image to the alpha of the particle layer. Look at that. Color particles that look like they were generated from the person. Okay, almost. Our particles run longer than our filled color image sequence, so after the image sequence is done, the particles turn white again. 
So then we can just hold the last frame of the filled color sequence and continue to color the particles until all the particles are finished. Now we have the result we want. We have what looks like a person made out of particles with the help from a few plugins, TrapCode Particular, and Twixter Pro, and Refill from Revision Effects.